The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon from TFNN. Welcome to the July 29th, the magical Monday edition of today's Trader's Edge Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that, it's to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I, when you and I recognize that, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We're going to go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past one o'clock in the afternoon. I want you to know that I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here, but way more important than that, during this next hour, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on in 877-927-6648. Phone lines are open. If you can't dial in, we've got you covered. Let those fingers do the walking. Send me an email, steve at tfnn.com. Inside the subject heading, please put radio show question. And in our Tiger's Den, well, any ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on magical, magnificent, marvelous Monday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to Lush Show. Right now, the Dow up 63 points straight on to 27,255. S&P is off 5. NASDAQ 100 down 38. Russell 2000 off 10. Semis are up 3. Um, New York Stock Exchange off 11. Wilshire down 107. Tranny's off 9. NASDAQ composite off 6 tenths of a percent or 48 points to the downside. Uh, spot volatility index perking up. It's up uh, 56 pennies, trading out at 12.72. Gold flat out there. Silver is uh, up three pennies out there. You've got to ask yourself, why are they up so slightly when those metals are just cruising in uh, terms of pounds out there? Of course, the pound down trading out at about 1.22 and it looks to be headed lower out there. But of course, uh, let's begin by taking a look at what you want to look at. And the first request coming in from JJ. JJ wanted to take a look at Amazon. He said, hey, Steve, hey, JJ, with Amazon pulling back, is there a good entry point? Concerned about uh, general sell-off in the market soon. So let's go take a look at Amazon. So when we look at Amazon, let's you know we like to begin take a look at any of our individual equities for the most part by just understanding where are they trading in relationship to their daily, weekly, monthly market profiles. Bottom of those boxes are going to be where buyers are at or um, well, just really where buyers are at, tops of boxes where sellers are at. So if we take a look at the daily time frame chart out here, you can see that right now price is trading below the bottom of its bullish structured daily profile, meaning the center line, which was at night or is at 1932, is much closer in proximity to the bottom, 1955, than the top, 1958. The importance of that is that Amazon should have held 1955 on just your garden variety pullback. Well, as of 109, in the afternoon, this is not your garden variety pullback. Now, on Friday, you had uh, Amazon take out a swing point with volume. The swing point was a trading session of July 18th. That had volume of 3.5 million shares. Friday was 4.9 million shares to the downside. So at a minimum, what you've got out here, JJ, is an A to B equals CD to the downside. You're asking for an entry point. Well, we can use the A to B equals CD pattern. It is really just your progressive insurance tool. Is that the company? I forget who it is. But in any event, it just simply provides us with a measurement tool. I'm just trying to figure out where it's 2130. Yeah. Uh, it just simply provides us with a measurement tool for price projections. So here's what you and I can see as we expand this out now. You can see that price has now made it to the 1 to 1.2728 to B equals CD price projection area. That's 1894. The next level down, 
price projection wise is going to be 1864 below that is 1832 below that 1780 i have no clue as to which of these levels price is targeting nor does anyone else out there this is the importance of not just simply using the a to b equals cd get into the one to one level and firing away at your trade if you do that you're just simply going to lose a ton of working capital out there you can't take the trade of course you can do whatever you want i'm just suggesting you don't really ever take the trade until you see some type of signal from the bulls that would be some type of bullish reversal candle we don't have that out there okay so if price is broken below that is there any other signals now by the way we can also look to our daily our weekly and our monthly profiles and we can see here on the weekly profile is this would suggest that price is going to go target the 1853 area that's the bottom of its um, weekly profile doesn't mean price will stop there just means that's where it's headed to Going back to Stevie's other charts out here to take a look at Amazon, what do we know? Well, we know that right now today, price is trading below 1906.63. Now, that's super important out here, Jay. And the reason that it's super important is because that's the price level where Amazon last broke out. So closing below the bottom of its bullish structured box was one thing. Another thing is coming back and perhaps closing below its breakout area. Now, I don't know where price closes today, 1906.63. It's always possible that that level will hold. If it doesn't hold, that says we've got lower prices ticking at us. And that would give us a price projection of about 17.59. I'm not saying that it's going to head there. I'm telling you that's the next level of support or previously prior to this breakout level, that's where price broke out previously. Uh, kind of tough to say that, but 1759 becomes a target. You'd still use the A to B equals CD pattern from a price projection standpoint, just simply because that could create a Gartley buy pattern out there. So where is the next entry point? We don't know. We don't know. We just know that you've broken through swing points. You're trading below levels of support, and we have to wait to see when that next bullish reversal candle forms out here. Now, what we can say about Amazon, and this is taking a look at the weekly time frame chart, there wasn't really a topping signal on a weekly basis out here. But what there was, was price got up to where it had broken down. This was behaving exactly the way in reverse that Amazon, Amazon should have been behaving on this daily chart on the way down where price should hold that breakout level. The breakdown level was at 2033.19. Price got right up to that level. That was the week of July 12th and has proceeded lower. It's possible, JJ, that what Amazon is doing is trading within a consolidation between where it broke down, 2033.19, and where it broke out on a weekly time frame, and that would be 1586.57. So we're just simply going to have to continue to watch how this trades before we can make any type of call uh, for where the next potential buy point is. And I hope that helps you out. No other questions. So give us a call at 877-927-6648 or send me an email, steve at tfn.com. Make a serious question, and that is... Uh, where's Stevie's uh, red line or green line on the four indices, please? So, Jay, are you referring to the cash indices? I'm going to assume at this stage you are. Um, and so we'll go take a look at it. If, and if you're not, then just tell me what it was that you were referring to. So on the four indices out here, we'll begin by taking a look at the Dow. If we take a look at the, well, you just have to actually pull the chart over in order to show that. And I'll do that before we get to this breakout here. Stevie's green line, which the Dow is trading below, 27. 363 suggests more of a retracement. Be right back. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, TAS understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the TAS Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. 
Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the Task Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call, call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Dow's up 71. S&P is back uh, four points. Let's go back to Stevie's, uh, Stevie's oscillator on change line. It'll be either green or red. I believe they're all going to be green out here as we take a look at the uh, daily indices out here. So we gave you the number for the uh, Dow. In the case of the S&P 500, you know, where is price trading? It's really trading right into it as we speak. The exact number on that is going to be, as far as where we're trading today, is 3023.00. 53. We're trading at 3022.17 out here. Now, what you're going to want to watch with regard to the S&P is uh, is the end of day close out here. No bearish reversal signal. Really, just a we're an inside day. We're trading with inside the body of uh, Friday's candle session. But we do know that price moving higher, doing less relative energy, always the potential for a top. But we need to have a bearish reversal signal form in order for that to happen. If we take a look at the NDX 100, same is the case with the NDX 100. Price movement higher doing with less relative energy. Right now, it has produced a uh, bearish reversal candle, but I don't know what it's going to be at 4 p.m. If at 4 p.m. it's similar to this, then you have a, a signal that says that the NDX 100 has topped. Stevie's green line is at 7,850, just called 7,008 or 7,009. Uh, right now, that's where that is. I'm sorry, 7,009, 7,998. Woo! 79.99, Agent 99. 79.99 is Stevie's green line out there. But watch the candle formation today. Now, if you do get a bearish reversal signal today inside the NDX 100 and follow through tomorrow, this would say that price would pull back to 77.35 out there. I don't know if that's an omen for with regard to what uh, how Apple is going to perform in the after hours tomorrow when they release numbers or not. But uh, regardless. Uh, just watch the NDX 100 and the signals that it generates uh, today. If we take a look at the Russell 2000, what it did earlier today, this morning, Jay, was price pulled back and tested its green line level. That's going to be at a price point to 1566 out there, uh, really just trading sideways when we take a look at the indice itself. So no other information other than that when we take a look at uh, the Russell 2000. So there you go, as Gus and my big fat Greek wedding would say with regard to Stevie's green lines and the four primary cash indices out there. Let's go to our next question. This comes in from Justin. Justin writes in, Steve, can you please analyze silver 
and uh, let us know your thoughts on which direction it might be headed. So, just an excellent question out there. How are we going to answer that question? Now, I guess a couple of different ways, but really what I'll start with is what I think may be the most pertinent thing for us to look at before we actually go look at the charts. We'll do that too. When I say the charts, we're actually going to look at a chart, but perhaps what is the more important chart when we take a look at silver? And that's taking a look at its horizontal trading range levels out here. And uh, where you see prices trading right now, it's at, uh, we're trading at 1644 and it's 1644. Now, I don't know how this works. I just know that it does work. That we have seen, or Silver has seen, 58 closes on a weekly basis, opens or closes at that level. That is the largest contingent of opens or closes in the case of Silver going back to 2009. So what I can share with you, Justin, is neither of us, you, Nam, you, me, anybody else really know which way price is headed to because it's really sitting here at a resistance area. It would not surprise me to see Silver pull back from here. But if Silver on a weekly basis, so we're talking about Friday, can close above 1645, then this would say, okay, the next level could be 1817. Likewise, if silver closes below this level, it's now three weeks in a row trying to bust through this area. We're not really interested in the wick of the candle. We're only interested in the body of the candle. Now, we're interested in the wick to let us know where the extreme emotion took price up to. But then it's really going to be about the body of the uh, candle. So this is the next real key level out here, 1645. You're not going to get that anywhere else other than here at the uh, Trader's Edge show, to my, now, to, to, to my knowledge out there. So 1645, a real key, whoops, a real key area for silver. But let's go take a look at the other charts, see what they say out here. If we take a look at the daily time frame chart, use Stevie's other tools out here. Here's what you know. Silver went ahead and topped out with a, a TD setup nine count. That can often be a topping pattern. Price is pulled back. You get your bearish reversal signal. It was also the completion of a 1 to 1.272A to B equals CD. Remember, we were taking a look at and talking about Amazon earlier out there. We said, hey, we won't know if Amazon has bottomed until we see some type of bullish reversal candle. If we take a look at, this is the exact opposite. This is how a market confirms an A to B equals CD pattern. It did that three days ago, that's silver, and this would suggest that is a sell the D point. Now, where's price gonna pull back to? Jay in the Tiger's Den would say, well, the first place is going to pull back to is Stevie's green line. That's at about 1628. Also happens to match the center of its box out there. Below that, where is it going to pull back to? $16. If price gets below that, it tells us about a change in trend on this A to B equals CD to the upside, and price will pull back to 1507. So if you're asking me what's the next direction out here, this daily chart, so the weekly chart says, hey, you're at resistance. The week, the daily chart says you've just completed an A to B equals CD, and it's really a, when I say completed, it's a Gartley sell pattern out here in the case of uh, silver, if we take a look at the longer term uh, trend of silver out here. Uh, but to confirm that it is a real significant top out here, you've got to see it close below $16 and a penny. So we've taken a look at the daily, we've taken a look at the uh, weekly out here. If we look at the monthly, which is going to close in just a couple of days out here, you can see the price is struggling at a resistance level as well. The last time this bear sash candle, a bearish reversal candle at this area took place was the month of, it looks like February back in 2019. Is that the case? Yeah, February 2019. That high out there is 1646. So we're really up to 1644, 45, 46 level is really key to answering your next question, Justin. But as we speak right now, I guess here's what we say. We can see resistance on the monthly. We see resistance on the weekly. And we see a topping pattern on the daily. It just simply means be careful. Now, do I think that silver has formed a nice bottom? I do. I do. That doesn't mean that it can't pull back. It doesn't mean it won't target 1477 to the downside. The reason I say that is if we take a look at a quarterly time frame chart, get quarterly, Stevie just introduced this, uh, you're seeing it here, first time with your eyes. You can see that price formed a bottom with a TD setup nine count, did it on bar number eight. Price was also moving lower, doing less relative energy out there and created that bullish engulfing candle out here. So it does look positive. Hey, if silver takes out that resistance levels that we were taking a look at, if it negates the A to B equals CD to the upside out here, when I say negate it, meaning the sell signal that it gave a couple of days ago, longer term, price is headed for the 1970 level. That's where price last broke down 
in the case of silver on a quarterly basis. So, Justin, I hope that helps you out as best as I possibly can. I gave you my best out there. I say just be careful if you are in the silver trade. Just simply go ahead and adjust your stops and watch those profile levels that we took a look at. Let's go to our next question. Next question coming in from uh, a hot dog out here. A uh, hot dog says, hey, Steve, hey, hey HD. We'll call you HDTV instead. That sounds better. A while ago, I asked you to take a look at Nokia. All right, so you did that. Let's go ahead and put Nokia up on the chart out here. Let me get it on my other system. Let's read the rest of the question. It says it looks like it made uh, quite a move out here. That, that was a heck of a gap to the upside just a few days ago. Would you please give me your thoughts on it now for the long term? So for the long term out here, what we would do, HD, is we'd be taking a look at the uh, weekly and the monthly chart. And we take a look at the monthly chart, now the signal is that price is right up at resistance on a monthly basis. It's center line at 570. You're trading at 562. We get back from this break. Let's come back. Let's take a look at the daily, weekly, see if there's anything else that we can glean from the monthly chart as we take a look at Nokia, ticker symbol NOK. Steve Rhodes with TF and We'll be right back. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 12, six and three months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed. And I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, uh, folks. We're taking a look at Nokia. We were discussing the uh, monthly time frame chart out there. And one of the other things that I noticed, well, let me 
kind of expand this out a little bit here. Be easier to see. Actually, let me turn off some of the tools. So HD, from a longer term standpoint, that's what you were asking of me about. He said, "Would please give me your thoughts on it now for a oh for a long." Okay. Uh, well, let me just take a look at I, I, I let me just take a look at it like this here. Here we just take a look at uh, what Nokia is doing, and you're right, really in the middle of its uh, consolidation. That's what the rectangular yellow shape shows. So it shows that uh, Nokia is in a consolidation between about 460 and uh, 660. So you've got about a $2 consolidation. Now when we turn those profile levels back on, uh, as I said before we went to break, price has gotten right up to its point of control where both buyers and sellers are. So you really need to see it move above 570 to suggest that you're going to get the 670-ish level out there. That's at least what the monthly time frame chart is communicating to me as I take a look at it. The weekly looks very positive. Last week had that big, big wide-ranging bar breaking above 546. But when we look to the monthly chart, we can see where price stopped. And we understand the reasons why. So it tells us you've really got to get above last week's um, highs out there in order to continue to break out. As we look at the daily time frame chart, I'll just pull over Stevie's other chart. And here's what we do know is that the breakdown level where price were in where Nokia uh, last most recently broke down was at five dollars eighty four cents. So until it gets over, you, you can't. Well, you can do whatever you want. I could not recommend to you to buy something close to resistance, not knowing whether it will break above that level or not out here. Where is the next best price for a long? You'd at least have to wait for price to pull back to 533. That would be Stevie's green line out there. And then we'd really have to see how is it pulling back into that area, into that level, uh, because of that wide-ranging bar, which really is a gap. Um, as we look at it. So in the case of uh, Nokia, you're up towards resistance 584. We looked at that on the monthly time frame. I think you still have to sit tight there. So thanks for writing in HD. I hope that that helps you out uh, with regard to Nokia. Let's see. There's no other questions in the den. Let me see if we've got any other questions that have come in by email. Steve at TFNN.com. Just put radio show question inside the uh, uh, inside the subject heading. We do have one, this one coming in from Sean M. Sean wants to take a look at uh, FireEye, F-E-Y-E. And uh, Sean says, you own two positions, average price around 1493, they report after tomorrow's close. So just looking for some type of signal out here. You've got a trade at 1603, so you've got a nice profit in here. Today, uh, price is trading above the top of its daily profile. That's at 1594. So you, ideally, you'd like to see price stay above that. The weekly says this could run into resistance at the top of the weekly level. That's 1635. And as we look at the monthly time frame, if this has really bullish news after the earnings report says that price could be headed up to 1805, that is the top of its monthly profile. Now, so for other signals out here, by going to Stevie's other charts, if we take a look at FireEye, if we just simply do a wave count from its roads momentum indicator bottom, you're only in wave number uh, five, but price is running up towards resistance here. That's where it last broke down, $16.29. Doesn't say sell, just says that's your resistance level and above that, $16.75 out here. You've got a rising price oscillator above zero. It looks good, but watch $16.29, $16.75 after that for some resistance. Now, maybe you're going to get an A to B equals CD to the upside. Let's come back to my other daily chart where it's much easier to see the volume metrics. What I'm referring to is the B point of a potential A to B equals CDT upside was on July 11th or July 11th and that was uh, 2.6 million shares when it was taken out on Friday it was 2.6 million shares so you don't you have conviction but not like a ton of conviction now volume today is good 2.4 million shares nonetheless you're going to have resistance at those breakdown levels but if price can clear through that the A to B equals CD price projection to the upside out here would give you a one-to-one -one reading right around 1724 1724 on the daily basis clears all of those uh, resistance zones I'm unwilling to make that call for you at the uh, moment. If we look at the weekly time frame chart out here for FireEye, F-E-Y-E, it formed its bottom with that TD setup nine count pattern. It did that as price was breaking back 
pulling back to its breakout area. That was 1425. We can see how that level held. We just look at the body of the candle out here. This is 1686 would be its breakdown area. Maybe price here is trading in between support and resistance or breakout support and breakdown resistance. That's 14 and a quarter to 1686. We take a look at FireEye. Otherwise, nothing here on the weekly chart looks um, negative or bad. If I look at the monthly chart for you for FireEye, what does this tell us? Um, tells me that long ago, back in February of 2017, which has really just been trading sideways for the most part, there's not a whole lot of interesting stuff out here in FireEye. Says in order for it to get interesting out here, you need to see it close above 1842 for two months in a row out here. So that becomes your resistance level. Nothing bearish here, but just simply fairly muted price move when we take a look at fire eye especially when we opened up that monthly time frame chart so best of luck with your uh, trade you've done well so far sean i don't see reasons to get out always see reasons to make sure you keep a stop in place out here okay no other questions we've got a couple minutes to go so let's just go take a look at the uh, markets overall see what they're doing see what we need to watch and pay attention to of course i want to hear from you 877-927-6648 what we do have out here that you might be interested in our new market profiles the new market profile forming inside the nq it just formed about an hour ago. I don't know whether it will hold or not, meaning I'm using Stevie's advanced Doppler system to identify those next levels of support or resistance out here. Tomorrow, perhaps, we'll know if we get two days in a row, likely it sticks out here. Here, what this tells us is resistance is 80.51.75 and support is 78.86. There are no other new market profiles. Here's what we know. We know that the Dow equity futures contract, that's panel number three from my left hand side or panel number two from my right hand side whichever side it is you like to count from uh, we can see that price has bounced up to its center the center of its box that center of the box at 27249 buyers and sellers both there in order for the dow to make its way to the top of that profile 27397 we need to see it close above 27249 it's not there yet prices hit resistance if you look at the es mini that is panel number one on the left that shows that price is sitting right at resistance, which is 13, 20, 30, 23.50. We're trading at 30, 23, even Stephen out there. So you're at resistance. Uh, you're at resistance in the Russell 2000. It actually has tagged it or very close to tagging it the last four trading sessions. So that's a stiff level to get through. 1585, no, it's called 1586 is the price of, is the price level, is, is the area where price would need to close above in order to get its bullish mojo going. So you're trading within the box in the ES Mini, within the box in the NQ, within the box inside the Dow, within the box in the uh, Russell 2000. You're just kind of moving sideways out here, so to speak. No real signals with regards, certainly no breakdowns, because nothing is trading below the bottom of a profile box as we speak at 138 in the afternoon. And that's what the markets are doing now. They're doing much, much more than that. But we're about to go to a hard break with the Dow up 61, S&P's off forward, NDX 100 down 34 points out there. This is Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. 
That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, uh, folks. So uh, let's go to our next question coming in here from uh, Brent in uh, Martinez, California. Brent writes in, can we take a look at natural gas, anything on a, uh, a anything of any sort that might give us a clue as to uh, an impending bottom out here? And um, as he says, no reversal candle just yet, wondering about the counts, relative strength, so forth. So unfortunately, I've got a, uh, Brent, I've got a problem now with my other tools out here. And uh, so I can't pull that up for you as much as I would like to. Uh, but uh, when I get that working, I'll respond to your email and uh, get you that information. What we can do is just simply right now, let's use what, what tools we do have available to us. And here we're taking a look at, this is a September contract. We're looking at daily, weekly, monthly, and quarterly uh, profile levels, uh, starting from left to right and so forth. And we can see that price is trading below all of the all the bottom of those profile levels. So no support on any of those time frames. Price, yes, is testing the low out here from June 20, 2019. Let me expand that out here. And so price is testing that level. That level, by the way, is 2.115. We're trading at 2.113 as we speak right now. Um, you know, whether this is going to hold or not, I don't know. If price gets below that, where does it head to? You know, I would hesitate to draw in this A to B equals CD to the downside. If I did, here's what it looks like. I could draw it in. Um, but I don't want to make that as the price uh, prognostication out here. Um, that would take it to about a buck eighty five. It's not that that's not feasible. Um, and if you get below the low from uh, June twentieth out there at two point one one five, you have to consider that as one of the possibilities. Um, if I go look at the intraday time frames out here, intraday time frames for natural gas, a 30 minute time frame, you're below the bottom of its bullish structured profile out there. The bottom of that was at two point one two six. So that's not good. If you look at the 120 minute time frame, you're below that, five hour time frame below that. So it's retesting the prior low. 
I don't have a volume metric that's going to be uh, uh, because the contract just rolled over. That's going to be worthwhile for me to provide you with that information uh, at this stage. Um, and you can see on the daily. Uh, so I, I, there is, I, I suppose, another A to B equals CD pattern that could be forming out here. That would look like this. It's a bit smaller. Uh, the A point being looks like the trading day of July 10th, the B point being July 22nd, and the C point being July 23rd. Um, okay. So why isn't my system working? That's, there we go. Well, I use a different, uh, the prior day, that's $2 and four, right around there, 2.04. So Brent, I think what I'm going to have to do is uh, it just simply, in order to answer your questions, again, he, you know, here's my other chart. You can see basically zeros out here. So even though it shows Apple in the left-hand corner, it did that when I went for natural gas. So my apology for that, but I don't see a bottom as we speak just yet inside of uh, natural gas. The only thing is testing a prior low. That can be a bottom, but no signals anywhere, short-term or otherwise. Really, short-term, if we go from a 30-minute to a 60-minute, what you'd be looking for here is some type of break of the top of a box. Instead, what we've seen on a 30-minute basis, the top of that 30-minute profile was 2.125, and that held as resistance on a bounce up into that level at about 12.30 um, today. Uh, so you can see that resistance continues to be sold inside of natural gas, even taking a look at the short-term time frames out there. So thanks for writing in. Much appreciated. And I'll get to that information as soon as I can. Okie okay, dokie. Okay. So we've got about four minutes out here. No other requests that I see on the phone lines or on the email lines out there. So let's go take a look at, um, we looked at the daily Profile for the NQ and well the other four the other three uh, equity futures contracts. We take a look at the New York Stock Exchange. What are we doing right now? Just simply consolidating. You've got uh, price moving up and back and forth below, up and below the zero line of its advanced decline oscillator. That's the New York Stock Exchange we're looking at out here. But it does have a series of declining tops. That's the advanced decline oscillator. That's not a good thing. It will not be a good thing if, in combination with that, and trading below zero. You get the spot volatility index to trade above and close above the 50-day exponential moving average, currently priced at 14.27. That's not the case that we have right now. So we just have this chunky consolidation. But when the consolidation is over, if the advanced decline oscillator continues to have this uh, declining tops pattern out here, it should result in a uh, in a move lower. And if that spot volatility index is above the 50-day exponential moving average, it should be a significant a move lower in the uh, markets. Again, the 50-day exponential moving average for the uh, spot volatility index is at 1427. We're trading at 1277 right now. I'd mentioned uh, gold out here. I always like to take uh, different viewpoints. If I give you the same viewpoint, you're not really going to want to listen to me, I suppose, out here. And uh, where some might say, hey, look how strong gold is because you've got the U.S. dollar index up, um, what, uh, seven ticks out here? No big deal. Uh, trade out at 97.83, but uh, gold's not getting smoked. Why is gold not getting smoked? Well, the answer, my friend, is lying right here on the charts. It's not getting smoked because uh, those folks over in London, in Great Britain, are breaking out. They're saying, I do not want to hold great British pounds. I'd rather hold gold. And you can see out here that gold is moving much higher. It's taking out the swing point out here from July 19th. So if traders of gold inside U.S. dollars are seeing gold break out above prior highs inside of pounds, well, why aren't they behaving now? It's always about, from a trading perspective, what is the product you're trading doing in your currency? Now, we don't have those same traders in euros doing much. It's flat, just as it's flat in dollars, slightly higher in terms of yen. But here's your buyers out here. Gold is being supported, not by buyers in the U.S. Gold right now is being supported by buyers in pounds out there. And in fact, because of the weakness inside the pounds, that's the same thing that's going on when we take a look at pounds, or, or I should say the U.S. Treasury, the 30-year Treasury inside of pounds, just uh, careening to the upside. But we don't have that same set of signals in dollars. In euros, yes. In euros, the answer is yes. A new high today, taking out prior highs with regard to T-bonds. And so you've got buyers of our treasury bills in pounds, in yen, and in sterling. 
and in dollars slightly higher, but it's got a bit of a uh, descending trend line. Question is, what about gold in uh, gold in uh, Juan out here? Well, we'll go take a look, see if I can pull that chart up here pretty quickly. Gold, 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 gold price. It should be saying gold priced in Juan. And I think we go with uh, this page right here to see where that is trading at. If we take a look at gold one, we're going to take a look at its horizontal trading range levels out here. And you can see that price is trading uh, right into resistance. That's 97.96 out here. That is gold, an ounce of gold. Uh, priced in uh, Chinese yuan up at resistance. How about those? Um, how about those uh, folks in uh, Hong Kong? Those protesters in Hong Kong. Holy shnikes! There's problems going on all across the globe. Yep. And where people like to park their assets, and problems are going on across the globe, is right here in the good old U.S. of A. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. Hey, Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. Tom O'Brien published the 900th issue of his weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, on July 22nd. It's amazing he started The Gold Report more than 17 years ago when gold was trading at only $252. To celebrate, we're having a special Tiger Dollar sale. Right now, you can spend only $495, and we'll give you 200 extra Tiger Dollars, so you'll end up with 695 Tiger Dollars, which is the yearly price of The Gold Report. Tiger Dollars can be used for any TFN newsletter or service, and this offer is open to new and current subscribers. With gold making six-year highs and gold mining equities trading higher, this is a great time to sign up for the Gold Report at a dramatic savings. For all the details, visit the front page of TFNN.com. This deal ends July 31st, so don't miss out. Get your Tiger Dollars and sign up today for the Gold Report 900th issue sale. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated traded folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. This is David White. Stay tuned because coming up next is the Power Trading Hour right here on TFNN. Welcome back, uh, folks. So uh, inside our Tiger's Den, uh, one of our one of our Tigers, uh, John, uh, pointed out that uh, coffee has uh, completed. Well, I won't say completed. It well, it's completed a one to one A to B equals CD. So it has done that. 
Um, and we can see that with our A point out here that was on July 5th. Uh, the B point was the low on July 15th. We're using that same exact candle as both the low and the high in order to generate that A to B equals CD to the downside. Now, I know that you can't see, you can't tell necessarily uh, here, I'll do this. I'll change this to candles out here. So now we can see candles. Um, and uh, we, what we don't have, what it's missing at that one-to-one -one target level, John, is some type of bullish reversal signal, some type of bullish reversal candle. And not until we see that will we be able to say that the uh, that this is a, a Gertley buy pattern or buy the uh, D point. If price uh, does not generate a bullish reversal candle, then uh, coffee futures, this is a September contract we're looking at, should make its way and approach the next level. That's the one to 1.272 A to B equals CD pattern. And that'll take you into about the 9644-ish, 9640 type range out there. So on the A to B equals CD patterns, the one thing that I've learned, if I've learned anything, and I've really learned a bunch, thank goodness for, uh, thank goodness for technical analysis, is that uh, when we take a look at our our A to B equals CD tool, it really needs to be combined with uh, Steve Nissen's uh, candlesticks out there and understanding which uh, bullish and bearish reversal candles are the ones to be paying attention to is really key and uh, critical. So that's what I see right now. It's possible it could generate a bullish engulfing candle, but we'll need to take a look at that perhaps uh, tomorrow. So folks, uh, stay tuned. You've got another great hour of programming coming up. You've got uh, my favorite polar bear, your favorite polar bear, the entire world's favorite polar bear, and that's David White. And after that, the Tom O'Brien Show from 3 to 5. I'm Steve Rhodes, and I'll be back with you tomorrow, tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. I'm going to fill in for Larry Pesavento while he's away, so I'll do 9 to 10. It'll be replayed from 1 to 2. So join me live tomorrow, 9 o'clock. Have a terrific Monday, and we'll see you on, well, I guess, Terrific Tuesday. Thanks, folks. <laughs>